The Yemeni peace talks in Sweden resulted today in several outcomes, the most important of which is the Hudaydah deal. But why is Hudaydah so important in the Yemeni conflict anyway? First of all, it is one of the most strategic areas in Yemen. Hudaydah was the second city to be captured by Houthis in October 2014, only a month after they captured Sana'a, which only tells us how important the city is for them. Second of all, Houthis' withdrawal from Hudaydah separates them from their allies in Iran, especially that the latter provides them with arms and funds through the city's port. The legitimate government's forces had regained control over the Kilo 16 area of Hudaydah, which was the most crucial Houthi passage into the capital Sana'a. Now, with the Sweden deal, it's not looking that great for Houthis. They will lose the path that starts in Salif, passing through Hajjah, Sa'da and Amran before reaching the Yemeni capital. Hudaydah had provided Houthis with the strategical depth into the three governorates of Damar, Sana'a and Hajjah. Those three governorates are considered major battlefields in the conflicting sides. And as mentioned before, Hudaydah was the Houthis' source of funds and arms into the battlefronts. The US and Western countries support firmness in Hudaydah because it might push Houthis to back off and hence pressure Iran into minimizing its influence. And that is why the Hudaydah deal is so important.